Hello everyone, I'm Robin Worley, welcome to Lenscraft. In my previous video I was posting an image I shot at Home Fell and I demonstrated how I edited that. Now at the time I used the cloning and healing brush in Lightroom and quite a few people have contacted me to say they couldn't tell what I was actually doing properly and it appears that this is one of those tools that not many people are familiar with. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time here and just show you how you can use these tools. What I've got on screen at the moment is one of the images from the Holmfell shoot and unfortunately it has a piece of pipe in the image that I'm finding really distracting and I want to remove it. And that's down here. So I'll just zoom in on that and you can see the pipe. The other area that's causing me some concern is just this dark cloud up in the top corner here and that really needs to be removed it looks almost like a, uh, a sensor spot or something but it's not it's actually cloud so I'm going to use the healing and cloning brushes and show you how we can use those to repair this image so first off I'm going to zoom in on the area I want to adjust which is this pipe and then I'm going to click the brushes here. Now I have two options, I have a healing brush or a cloning brush and I'm going to show you how to use both of these. So first off I'm going to use the cloning brush and we're going to clone out this area here. Now at the moment my uh, brush is actually too large so I can reduce that by using the square brackets now you could use this size option here but as you do that it can be hard to see the brush itself and how small or large it gets instead I like to use the square brackets because you can place it around the image such as that and you can size it properly then now the next option that you've got is this feather option here now I'm going to just increase that so you can see a little bit better and I'll just make the brush larger. Now as, as I do that you'll notice that there is an inner circle and an outer circle. The inner circle marks the area of the brush and where it's working at full strength. The outer area marks the edge of the brush and between those two circles you have a feather that helps you blend the image with its surroundings and that can be quite useful where you're using something like the heat sorry the clone brush if you clone an area and you've got a hard edge so it's not a there's no feather you can actually see very easily where the fix has been applied if you use a feather it feathers the area surrounding it so that it blends more easily. Now the other thing is though don't use too large a feather so at the moment that's very large I would typically use something where we've only got a small edge uh, probably about oh, probably about quarter of the width of the actual brush itself so I'm just going to reduce that down now and the final option we've got is this opacity slider here and for most of the blends and mends that you make you'll want to keep that at a hundred percent in areas of cloud you might use a, a lower level and do multiple uh, blending or sorry sorry multiple cloning adjustments overlaying each other to remove the area so let's start off and we will draw over the area that we want to fix. Now as I do that automatically you can see that Lightroom has picked an area that it's going to blend with the area that we've selected. So that's the area being fixed and this is the area where the sampling is being taken from. And you can actually click and drag that to a new area and it will heal and fix from that area. Um, that helps you then pick an area that you are more happy with in terms of applying the fix. Now, as I move my mouse off that area, 
you can see that those points that we were using have actually disappeared and if you move back onto the image they reappear. The thing that's controlling that is this tools overlay down here. At the moment it's set to auto and that will automatically hide or show the adjustments but you can set it to always reveal so that it's always present and you can also set it to selected so it only shows where you've actually got that selected you'll find that there are other if you applied multiple selections on here and multiple fixes you'd only have the one that's currently selected being shown and that can help you if you need to draw over other areas without affecting them the final one is never which just automatically hides it so that you can make a, a good a, a good sort of assessment of whether or not the fix is successful and to be honest the fix we've got there is not too bad I tend to leave it on auto for most of the work I do it's only when I come to need to hide something to maybe pick an area around it or something like that that's the point where I might use this uh, tools overlay now the other thing we've got is a heel brush now let's set that to done we'll zoom out and we'll zoom back in on the top area and this time I'm going to show you how to use the heel brush and it's very very similar to the clone brush so we'll select healing and we will increase the size of our brush to just help us make a selection easier and all I'm going to do is draw over the area <coughs> that I want to fix and that's the fix applied the next thing I want to do is I'm going to I can see there I'm not quite happy with the edge of that fix here so I'm going to draw again and I'm going to take a second sample this time and that has fixed the problem so that's quite easy to do now if you wanted to use oops if you wanted to hit, use the healing brush um, down on the area that we cloned earlier and you didn't want to have to reselect that here's a quick tip you can use if you right click on the point you can actually select heal and you'll switch it between healing and cloning and you can decide which one you like best and to be honest the healing brush looks pretty good there so I'd probably go with that hopefully you found that useful there isn't much more to those brushes but really it's cloning and healing and draw your area move the selection to the right area to copy from and make sure that you've got the size and feathering options correct you can easily switch between cloning and healing pick which one's best Hope you found that interesting and helpful.